Hi, I'm Rich, an OVO engineer, and I'm here to talk to you about the reason your boiler could lose pressure and what to do if that happens. Most Worcester boilers like this one have a pressure gauge which will indicate the pressure of your water. It can be low, high, or just about right. The gauge usually sits on the right-hand corner of the control panel, going from zero to four bar. Ideally, you want the needle to be just above one bar, between one and 1.5. It's best to check this now and again to make sure there's no surprises. Small hiccups can make your water pressure drop, like a crack in the pipe underneath the floorboards. That would be impossible to spot, or a little split on one of your radiator valve sets. When the pressure drops below one, most combi boilers will stop working, but you don't need to pull an engineer like me right away. You could bring the pressure back into the boiler yourself in just a few seconds. It's important to remember that boiler and central heating systems are different, so I recommend you check your user guide so you can do it yourself. If you need tools to remove the panel, please don't touch it. You can call a gas safe engineer and they'll be able to do it for you. If the panel is meant to be opened, here's how you'll put pressure into your boiler. A Worcester is one of the most common boiler models. If you have one, check the pressure gauge to see if it needs pressure. If the needle's pointing below one, here's what you need to do. First, turn off the electrics to your boiler and let it cool down. Worcester boilers like this one normally have an internal filling key underneath a plastic tray. Just remove it. Push the filling key firmly into the body of the filling link and make sure the arrow on the key shaft is in line with the open padlock symbol. And then turn the key to the right to the stop so the arrow is in line with the closed padlock symbol. After that, turn the white knob to the left of the key anti-clockwise. This will allow water to fill the system. You should hear it coming. When the pressure on the gauge gets between 1 and 1.5 bar marks, turn the white knob clockwise and it will close the valve. Turn the key to the left so the arrow lines up with the open padlock symbol and then pull the key down to remove. Time to dry it off and put it back into the tray. Job done. Remember, if you don't feel comfortable doing this trick or it doesn't work, it's safer to call an engineer. They'll be able to help. It's also a good idea to get boiler checkups once a year. It can stop little issues becoming a bigger problem. I hope this helps. Mm -hmm.